Ooh, it's got that new card smell. Hey guys, Huang here, and today we are looking at the new photo editing cheat sheet playing cards. Last year I did a review of the photography cheat sheet playing cards and Eric, the creator of these cards, reached out to me to send me these packs of the new editing cheat sheet playing cards for me to review. You can go ahead and check out his channel along with links to these products in the description down below. So while he did send me these cards to review, these opinions are completely my own. So with that, let's dive into it. These boxes are similar to the photography deck last year. However, the color scheme is amazing. I love that they're black with this nice, gloss red blue finish so if i go ahead and hold it up to the light just right here you can see that they are shiny and they look really really good so these are the cards this is more specifically the red deck so most photographers would like to feel like they have a fairly good grasp on the camera itself the basics and all of that however editing is another beast and that's where these cards come in there is so much that goes into editing, whether you're using Lightroom, Photoshop, or whatever application, there's just tons and tons of tools at your disposal, and it's pretty easy to get overwhelmed if you don't know what you're doing. Who even knows what a tone curve does? But these cards have got you covered, more specifically, the Ten of Hearts. This will explain what the tone curve is and let you know that the shadows are on the bottom left and the highlights are on the top right. Then if you go ahead and look at the seven of spades, this will give you even more information on the tone curve, as well as typical adjustments that people do, including decreasing the shadow brightness and increasing the highlight brightness to create the S-shaped tone curve. Now the hearts will go over the basics in editing, like some of the tools that you have at your disposal, like your clone stamp, your dodge and burn, cropping, straightening, and such. The space will give you tips for how to use these tools, including tips for using the levels and histogram, the HSL controls, tone curve, noise removal, and more. Next are the clubs, which are the technical, like HDR imaging, bit depth, file formats, and such. Lastly, you have the diamonds, which are the advanced information. This stuff includes aspect ratios for all major social media platforms, cloning, shadows, highlights, tints, export settings, and more. I think the export settings card is super useful because it tells you different export settings for physical prints versus using things on the web. Just like the photography deck from before, these cards give you access to a lot of information while you're on the go, but in addition to all of that, they act as playing cards. These cards are super fun to bring out if you have friends that are into photography, cameras, and all that stuff because it's just cool to be able to see something different than your typical playing cards. These cards do have a very nice feel to them. They feel solid, they're comfortable, they don't feel like they're gonna rip and tear. They're not like the cheap paper or anything like that. These are, these are very, very solid cards. The backs have these really cool designs that's camera focused, but also kind of highlights the editing portion of it with like mouse cursors and other things that are kind of just hidden in the design itself. The face cards themselves also have a unique twist, just like the last one where they were all holding cameras. And in this one, they are all artists and they're all editing. I do love the designs on these cards. I think they do catch your eye and I think they're really fun to use. Recently, I've been getting more and more into poker. I don't have a problem. Anyway, so a lot of my friends are into cameras and things, so I'm definitely gonna be having this deck on hand while we go ahead and play poker. Though I don't know if we're actually gonna be playing poker or we're just gonna be reading the descriptions on these cards the whole time, because it's, uh, it's a lot of information. And it's pretty cool to look at. So all in all, I think these cards are really, really nice. They're very high quality, great to look at, great designs, so great job, Eric. I think this is a great set of cards to add not only to your card collection, but to your editing knowledge database. Also makes a great gift for any photographer. You know that cool thing people do with the cards when they just like fan them all out, like whoosh. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. And that's it for the review. So that's it for this review. If you guys wanna see my review on the photography deck, then go ahead and check that out right here. Again, all the links to Eric's channel along with all of the products are in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions or if you have any thoughts on these cards or any of the previous decks, go ahead and leave that in the comment section down below. Again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Actually, yeah, it's closer, it's closer.